Final message, George? I'll put this chump asleep. We'll see. You're, you're not for a chat. I will not for a chat. We've got one more minute. You've... Johnny, how are you not laughing? Go on, what are you going to say? <laughs> you've got one more minute. Are you're you... finding this tough, aren't you? Yeah, go on. That's me, my question. <laughs> you're going to cry? Roll you're going to cry, aren't you? Johnny, you were saying. What? Sorry, excuse. I apologise on George's behalf. Carry on, mate. Oh my... He's going to cry. <laughs> Adam, is he going to cry? He's hold. Are you okay? What's happening, right? Are you now? all right? What's, What's happening? What's don't happening go. Right don't. Now? Eddie. Eddie's in sitting here. He's sitting here, but he can't help you. You can. You can. You can ask for his reassurance now. But whether he storms the ring before the fight's over or not, he can't help you, Carl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to have to hold it together all by yourself. It's on, it's here, the rematch. Doesn't get any bigger than this. This is big stuff from George Groves. So this is it. Everything for a reason. It was a stonewall robbery the first time. Everyone knows it. Wow! That is gonna be controversial! But it's nowhere to go, and it's no way to slow. If I knew what I knew, I would be ready. Fingers crossed. Enjoy me while I'm here. He didn't want to take this fight. I think that's round one to me. Well, this is it. Everything for a reason. Everything for a reason, everything for a reason. And I'm going to keep saying that, people are going to be sick to death of hearing that, but everything for a reason. I've had an unbelievable break. I've had some bonding time with my baby girl. I've spent some family time. I've been at home changing nappies and night feeds. Let me tell you, that's overrated, but I've enjoyed it. And, um, you know, I've missed the gym. I've missed boxing. <laughs> I've missed hitting the bag. I've missed listening to Rob and, you know, working hard on the, on the road run. And that's, that's bad news for George Groves. Face to face. Be good. <laughs> oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Who's talking to you, sweetheart? You're a boy on the night. You'll see. You're in a world of trouble. You was lucky that night. Would you like to shake my hand? I'd love to shake your hand. You'd love to. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, pleasure to you too, mate. What are you doing? We can, all, we, can all, we can all pull about a little bit. Just want to pull about, have a little pull and a push. <sighs> I'm doing that. I'm playing copycat now.
everybody wants to see. Two men who both believe they were robbed first time around get a chance to settle it once and for all. George Groves got one back, though. He just threatened to take off there. Groves getting through with a right shot. hand. Yeah, that one hurts him right hook. Groves in a bit of trouble there. Felt that. Frotch goes for the body, then switches upstairs. Groves under pressure for the first time in the fight. Wembley goes berserk. Groves with a left hand, as he promised. Carl looks worried about it, he looks concerned. It shook him, that's why. You could see the reaction. Groves certainly saw it. Oh, big shot. And a big response, and then another big right hand from Groves. It's exploded again. Groves punching inside a fox, though. Digs in deep, sucks it up. Wow! Right hand! That's destroyed Groves! It's waved off already! Charlie Fish saw it up! What a shot! You will not see a more explosive finish than that! I've got to hold my hands up. Carl caught me with a shot, and um, I'll, I'll come back. I'll come back bigger and better and stronger, and I look forward to that. And ultimately, um, I feel like I let myself down. Um, but congratulations to Carl. Fair play. Um, you know, he got, he, got, he got the punch, and um, I congratulate him. I hope he wish him all the best. Well, George, having been here three times before, how much does a hunger burn inside you to be a world champion tonight? It's just I'm treating it as another fight now, though. Um, I've got to this stage and um, I'm going to enjoy it, but I'm not going to add any more pressure to myself. Uh, I don't think I need to. I feel better than tuning off. Whether there's a world title on the line or not, I should win and I will win. And um, I'm ready. A crucial match for the vacant WBA super middleweight crown, pitting London's long-time hope, the popular and still at times controversial George Groves in with the strong, robust and Row decent one. Fedor Chudinov. Their losses only at the highest level. 28 knockouts shared between them. Some spectacular too. There's a variety of skills in there. Should be a cracker in your old weight class. It should be. We're expecting a good fight. I'm expecting a solid, sharp and strong performance with plenty of right hands early on from George Groves. I think he needs to come out and make a statement. Tudin off, quite a solid fighter. You see here, not taking a step backwards. Nice, tight, high guard. But Groves needs to make some kind of impression early. Already utilising the ring, George Groves. Mobility, angles, 
and that jab at the Saul and brothers his promoters were talking to me about earlier is absolutely vital what of Chudinov though he's pretty good all round he's strong he can hit but he can be hurt and Groves with a very fast start accurate shots and already some reddening around the right eye of Chudinov who elects to go to Groves's body Nice right hand landed there from George Groves. Didn't seem to have much of an effect from Chudinov. It's, it's early on. He seems solid and strong, but not much head movement. A bit square, a bit upright. A little bit novice at times, but um, you can see he's solid and tough. Really good match up on paper. Chudinov looks strong and tough, certainly in the last part of that first round. And it's a hectic pace from Groves, isn't it? It is. I think he's been forced to work that. I mean, Chudinov put him on his back foot. He's working here when he doesn't really want to work. Just got shoved off, though, Groves. Looking really strong, Chudinov. As he backs Groves off, he just looks physically strong. And the, the shots from George Groves just seem to bounce off his gloves. He's got a nice jab, Groves. He wants to make a bit of room, get himself in the centre of the ring and try and box and counter-punch. He doesn't want to be on his back foot because this pressure will get to him. Yeah, where's the sharp jab and the ring mobility that he used against Martin Murray recently, George Groves? as Chudinov tries to hold the centre of the ring. Gloves high, that Eastern European style, so effective. Very basic and almost predictable from Chudinov, but just solid and strong, and he's, he's able to just deflect George Groves' attacks off them vertical forearms. What he said to us just after his workout on Wednesday in the uh, centre of Sheffield was that he doesn't make as many mistakes that his defence is better than Groves. Well, it's, it's quite basic, but he might be right there. There's, there's not many mistakes, there's not much room for error in the, in the way in which he fights, and you'd only get away with this kind of style if you're strong. And he does look strong, physically he looks strong. Right hand from Groves. Groves needs to do this, push him back, try and get that body shot going, that hook to the body, try and get behind that jab, but Tudor of his jab there being effective. Landing square flush on the face of George Groves as he backs up. Okay, swinging with the right hand, Groves, but there's... There's desperation in Groves' work. I know it's only early on, but when he's on his back foot, he's throwing that counter and not really having the desired effect which he'd like. That's better from Groves. Yeah, good better words. And suddenly finds Tudinov's chin. Good work from Groves there, landed a couple of nice shots, but Tudinov just responds immediately. It is non-stop in the early part of this world super middleweight title fight. He's landing some nice effective shots here, George Groves, on his back foot. Chudinov still putting that pressure on, but he's on the end of some eye-catching stuff from Groves. Nice jab, nice counter-punch. He's relaxing a little bit now more, George Groves, but this is still a tight affair. Good uppercut went in from Groves. Most people saw this as a long fight. Maybe Groves would win it on the outside, boxing skills, but it's already meaty, tasty, up close and personal. Good right hand from Groves. Body shot there from George Groves and another left hook to the body. That's what he's going to need to try and do. There's a cut left eye of George Groves. I think the heads have come together there. Chudinov is seeing that cut and now he's applying pressure. And Groves is bloody here in the fourth round. Something had to give. And Chudinov aiming for that with his right hook. Back comes Groves. Good right right hooks. Beautiful right hand from George Groves. Has he got the extra firepower in there? Chudinov, a bit of a sitting duck, and a body nice. shot as well. Nice body shot from Groves, and he had some nice overhand shots as well, some nice hooks to the head. Applying pressure here, but Chudinov still not taking a step back. Blood pouring from the left eye. And this is a right old scrap. 
Another super middleweight duster. Another exciting fight that George Groves is involved in. Will he come out on the winning end? Well, I'm trying to work out if Chudinov looked a little bit shaken up when that right hook landed earlier, because he took a step back and had a little breather. Like he said, he was a bit of a sitting duck momentarily, but he may have recovered. But these body shots, great work from George Groves to the body of Chudinov. Right uppercut, looking for it again. And there are the shots that will slow Chudinov down again. Good work from George, I'm really impressed with this. Educated pressure. I think he's hurt Chudinov here. Yeah, body shots, good right hand from Groves. Chudinov taking a great deal of punishment here. In the fourth round, it's a dramatic one. What a fight we have. Blinking there, Groves, that blood in the eye blinded him. Landing a nice counter punch on his back foot, Groves, but under pressure and soaking up some shots. Has his back up. The eye troubling him, the blood's in the eye, and I think it's temporarily obscuring his vision. Chudinov can see that and he will be trying to work on that. Yeah, it's quite a nasty slash. Accidental head clash, so if it was to stop on that, it would go to the cards. Groves ahead for you. Yeah, Groves ahead. I've been very impressed in round two, three and four from Groves. His counter punching, his work rate, but I just feel the pressure. He's being forced to work. And when you're being forced to work, even in sparring, when somebody's coming for you and pushing you back, you feel the pressure more, you feel the pace more. So George Groves will need to draw on that every ounce of fitness he's got. Good shot from Groves, and again, doubling it up. Bounces off Tudinov. There's that counter right hand that I wanted to see from Groves tonight. Explosive right hand, nice body work as well, nice response. I think Tudinov's worked well. The counter punching from Groves has been oh, exceptional. Oh, good shot from Tudinov. Back he comes. They swap right hands in an intense fight. <laughs> Lovely right hand from George Groves at the beginning of the sixth. The accuracy pinpoint from the Hammersmith fighter tonight and the desire and determination and Chudinov just beginning to ship these. Standing strong, but he can't keep taking them. And George Graves is Chud really going for it here to body and to head. Big moments here for Graves. And Chudinov's got to suck it up. He's going to have to throw back here. Steve Gray taking a close look. And George Graves. Really good work here from George Graves. Chudinov in desperate trouble there. But if there's sentiment in this sport, George Groves deserves this moment. He is a world champion, and he can say that forever. You've now achieved that dream. You're world champion. Put it into words for us. I'm usually a character who likes to be semi-well rehearsed, but this time I've got no words. It's a lifetime's work achieved. I'm over the moon, and I'm dedicating this fight to a previous opponent, Eddie Goodnick, who is still not well from our fight in November. And when I was landing those big shots, I got to admit, I wanted to turn to the ref, turn to his corner and say, this guy's tough, how many more do I need to hit him with? But I'd like to dedicate this to him because he's on, our, he's on my mind all the time. I found my feet, it's been a long, hard road here. Three years in the making. I can put those losses to bed now, I feel get on with my life and hopefully now go on to even better things. We find God and religion.
Oh! 